Voices of Bravery, honoring the veterans of Vietnam. Sponsored by Duval Motor Company. We're here in front of the USS Orlick, one of the most decorated warships of Vietnam. And many times you'll hear Vietnam called the Dirty War. And yet the veterans we talk to 50 years later now still tell us they went to serve our country. But most of those veterans, many of them, endured what we cannot even fathom. Kids these days, oh yeah, they know all about warfare. Right? Wars are not like the games on TV. In Vietnam, when you get shot and you get killed, you're dead. Tony DeLeo, United States Marines. His buddy struck by mortar fire. I had to hold his intestines in. You know, he got blown up. And he can still see that. All the time that I was trying to wrap him up with a poncho to keep his intestines in his body. I was 20 years old, and I was scared as all hell. And now, some 50 years later, he's still scared in his nightmares. I wake up with sweats, cold sweats. And why? Well, the details, yeah, they're disgusting. Tony knows that. But maybe it helps us to understand, to respect what our veterans endured in Vietnam. You go down a tunnel with a flashlight and a 45. That's it. And they'd set booby traps, snakes, two-step Charlies. If you get bit by this, this snake, by the time you dip your second step, you're dead. And then maybe worst of all, after a battle. The bodies would be mutilated. So when the Americans came back to retrieve bodies. Because you never leave an American behind. Uh, some of the, their uh, sexual organs would be cut out. Some of the heads would be cut off, put in, on pogey sticks, bamboo sticks. Whatever they could do to desecrate a body, they would do it. But it wasn't just butchery. It was a strategy, a wicked strategy. They would cut off a man's Johnson, and they would put it in his mouth. And he would be wired to a tree. They would tie him up to a tree. We would find it. And that was a, to get our minds crazy, because that guy was in our squad or our platoon. And some of us knew him personally, and we want to go get them. And they used that to make us run, because we don't care no more. We just want to kill them, no matter what. A mad rush of revenge. And they would have an ambush set up. The sick plot worked. Ambush, even more American boys killed. Either he goes home to Nana, or I go home to Nana. I killed my first person on Vietnam. I never killed anyone before. I know exactly how many I killed. Do you wish you didn't? I wish I didn't. I wish I didn't go to Vietnam. And yes, the My Lai Massacre gave a bad, bad name to Vietnam soldiers. But Tony says, don't smear all the Vietnam vets. They have earned the respect and the support they don't often get. It's deny, deny, hope the vet goes away or dies. We salute Tony and all of our Vietnam veterans. And don't miss our special April 13th, Voices of Bravery. We continue to honor the veterans of Vietnam.